you know, sometimes in this office we talk about juggling things around or walking on a tight rope or, or uh, high wire balancing or whatever because of the nature of working in an office such as this. Uh, and it made me think about uh, how easy it is to walk on a tight wire if you understand the physics or the principle behind it. And it would be almost as if uh, I took a pen and said, can you balance the tip of a pen onto the top of another pen? Could you get that to balance and stay there? And, and you could if you knew the secret to getting it done. And again, it's a physical principle. So if I took uh, a cork and uh, put a pen in it and said, well, how would you balance? And again, I don't think you'll be able to do that. But what if I took that pen in that cork and I took another cork with a pen inserted in and said, well, now, could you balance it this way? And again, you would not be able to do it, or you'd be extremely lucky if you could do it. But what if I could lower its center of gravity? For instance, if I take a fork put it in that stopper, and I take another fork, and I'm going to stick it in that stopper. Now, all of a sudden, I have lowered the center of gravity, and with just a little bit of balancing, I should be able to put that point of that pin, there we go. And see, all we've done is lowered the sense, I've lowered the center of gravity, that's all we've done. And then you can balance. In fact, it's almost difficult for it to fall out. So that's why when the high wire walker heads across the high wire with a weighted pole, his center of gravity is lower than the wire that he's walking on. And it's virtually impossible for him to fall out.